Good morning, CEC, and happy Wednesday to all of you. Today's gospel reading is from the gospel according to Luke, chapters 24, verses 13 through 35. Let us read this together and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, what sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who is a prophet mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther, but they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the 11 and those with them who were saying, the Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Today's gospel reading shows us the uh, really some of the biblical uh, texts of Mass. And, uh, you know, these two people are on their way walking back from Jerusalem after Jesus has died um, and after Jesus has risen from the dead. And these people are wondering, okay, like, what is going on? And they encounter this guy who they, they don't recognize as being Jesus. And they say, do you not know like what's gone on? Like, this is the headline. This is the news. And you don't know that this is going on about everything that happened to Jesus. And Jesus starts talking with them about the scriptures. And then they invite him back to their house um, and they, they break bread with him. And really, this is the first time we see the mass, where we see the scripture, where we see an explanation of the scripture, and then we see the breaking of the bread, this bread that is Jesus's body and blood. And so really, this is the first, one of the first times we see mass occurring, where we see scripture, as we see in our liturgy, the word explanation of the scripture, like we see uh, in the priest homily, and as well with the breaking of the bread with the Eucharist. And really, I think what we can pull out of today's scripture passage, I know necessarily we can't go to Mass right now in the same way that we can normally, but we can still take that time and watch a, a televised Mass, to watch a Mass that's live streamed, and to still focus that time in prayer that we need. We still need to focus that time uh, in prayer that we would be otherwise spending at Mass. In addition, just as there were two disciples walking uh, from Jerusalem, we need to have companions on the journey with us. We need to have friends that are supportive of us in our faith and are going to walk alongside in that journey with us and talk about our faith with us. Because it's after Jesus appears to them and after Jesus disappears that these two disciples are talking about each other, that we're not our hearts burning within us. And they're talking about their experience of God. And it's important for us in our lives to have experiences uh, with God that then we can talk about with others. 
Because it's one thing if we have these experiences with God and we keep them internal, but it's another thing when we get to talk about them and explain them and share them with others and have someone who can share with us their experiences of God. It's really powerful in that way to see. And it's really important for us to be able to know that Jesus is present with us. Um, it says in scripture, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. And it's present to these two disciples. They were gathered together talking about Jesus, and lo and behold, Jesus was with them. They may not have recognized it at first, but Jesus was with them. So find a friend that you can talk about your faith with. Find a friend that you can uh, really dive into your faith with, have conversations about that with. And take some time to find a mass, find some sort of prayer that you can engage in on a daily basis. And you can make sure, especially in this time, that you're remaining close to God. Today, we're going to pray again the Regina Chaley that we prayed yesterday. Uh, so if you all would please join me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. The Son, whom you merited to bear, alleluia has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, did vouchsafe to give joy to the world, grant, we beseech you, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, CEC, and happy Easter.